Hi, this is Gary Tonnenquart from morethanasnapshot.com. In this little video, I'd like to show you the difference between a video tripod and a tripod meant for still photography. So here we have a video tripod. You can see that some of the features that helps with the video is it's got these quick locking legs that uh, make it very easy for you to um, level all sides of the tripod all at once and then just quickly lock them down. And it's got this little knob adjustment on the bottom and the, the camera rotates around in this little bowl and that helps you to quickly level the camera on the top of this tripod. Also, a video tripod will often have the sticks that come out the back which will help you with the panning motions and the tilting motions. Now, let me show you a little bit about a still photography tripod. All right, this tripod is set up more for still photography because it has a ball head on the top. Now, you could shoot video like I'm doing here as long as you're not moving much. The one sort of downside for video for, with this kind of tripod head is the um, panning motion uh, in this camera, in this tripod is not bad, but it, it's not quite as easy to do as if you had a video head. And then if you try to do a tilting motion, now it's much more difficult because the camera moves around a lot on top. But this is better for still photography because you can move your camera around very easily to all different positions. To, it's very, uh, very fast and easy to level the camera. And with a little bit of tension, it's very easy to move the camera in small increments exactly where you need it. And it allows you to do things like shoot vertical and shoot horizontal. When you're using a video tripod, you really don't have that option of going vertical. So you want a ball head for still photography and you want a video head for uh, videos. Now, I try getting a great video head called the Manfrotto 502 and I put it on top of a set of photography tripod legs and it worked okay. It was just a little bit of a pain to level the, every single leg. Uh, it took a little more time and a little more effort. I find it to be much quicker and easier with an actual video tripod. So if you're going to be doing a lot of video or a lot of still photography, make sure you get the right kind of tripod and you'll be all set for the kind of work you want to do. Again, this has been Gary D. Tonnenquart from morethanasnapshot.com. If you like this video, please be sure to hit subscribe down at the bottom so you can see our future videos. Also, you might want to check out the show notes to see uh, my other websites like morethanasnapshot.com where you can take my online photography class. Also, like us on Facebook so you'll know what's new with morethanasnapshot.com.